at uh, St. Thomas Dragway tonight. Uh, we're going to do some passes on the new project car, the 2003 Pontiac Grand Am GT. It is uh, bone stock right now, so uh, we're fresh off the highway. We'll see what the, the first run's like, uh, see how bad it is. So I was looking at my uh, shift RPMs here. It seemed like it was shifting a little bit early. And we're shifting at 5,600. So I'm going to bump that up a little bit and uh, put this thing into the 15s. Yo, I got a bone to pick with the Grand M. <laughs> <laughs>
got you. You went faster, but I got there first. <laughs> Whatever, man. I crossed that line before you did. Oh. I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming. The green light came on on the guardrail on my side. What? I said there's a light after the line that lights up whoever wins. It was on my side. Just. Buddy, my time says I beat you. Yeah, you went faster, but I just beat you. good night at the track um, didn't blow anything up made it home any night you can go to the track and you don't uh, break anything is a good night uh, car did not do as good as I was hoping it would but uh, it is a baseline so we'll take it and uh, improve on it get a better time next time we're out the video you see from the Mustang 
Uh, that's one of the guys I worked with. It's a V6. I believe those things were both 300 horse. It should have been into the 14s, but uh, it was his first time at the track. Uh, I'm sure if he went again, it would be well into the 14s. I think he got down to a 15-0 by the end of the night. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for him, he traded that car in on a 5-liter. He might uh, go again with the 5-liter. I don't think he wants to beat on it too much. Maybe when he's more comfortable with the car, he'll bring it back. Uh, this time, I only managed to grab a couple good lights on him, and that's how I end up getting the wind light each time. If it wasn't for cutting a good light, I think he would have easily gotten me no problem on those runs. So this is the first run here. Somebody had their AC on in front of me, I believe, or their car dripped something, because this thing spun bad. Um, I did not expect it to spin as bad as it did. Once it started spinning, I kind of let up for a, a second or two, then I decided I may as well just get back into it and run it out uh, and see what kind of mile an hour it will do. Uh, second run, a little bit of improvement, still hot off the highway. I uh, just hot lapped it, went back up. Uh, 60 foot still terrible better et anyways uh, a few mile an hour more so after that i let it cool down a little bit for about 10 minutes or so went back out got slightly better 60 foot and end up running a 16.0 with it mile an hour slightly improved as well so uh i went back up again next run decided to try the left lane see if that would help at all uh it did not 60 foot still terrible um, on this run, I noticed that the shift points were not quite uh, hitting red line. It, it seemed to shift really early. It was just starting to pull good, and then it would shift. So I started looking over in the HP tuners, and that's when I noticed that the shift uh, RPM was set at like 5,600. So I bumped that up 200 RPM more. Went back out again. Slightly better 60 foot. Went a 16.0. But uh, if you look at the mile an hour there, it's uh, starting to pick up pretty good. That's just by raising the RPM on the shifts up uh, 200 RPM. This run here, I decided to uh, try it again, but I was uh, getting some heat in the tires. Just tried heating them up. Did not work. You see, it, the mile an hour was still there, but the uh, 60 foot was uh, terrible again. And then uh, finally, we got... Uh, Still a crappy 60 foot. And I went to a 1595 at 85 mile an hour. Backed it up again with another 1595 at 85. So I'm going to go back to the track again shortly. I did pick up some new tires to try out. These are Firestone Firehawk Indy 500. Tread pattern looks a little better from the reviews I have seen online. You guys are saying they work pretty good at track for a street tire, so we'll give that a go and uh, see if it uh, drops the time at all. So make sure you follow along and see the progress we can make on this car and improving the quarter mile times. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.